up, Scar Knight, bringing you Pokemon Crystal Vedlock Part 38. I almost said 30. No, wait. Yeah, no, it's yes, 38. Okay, just making sure, because I almost tricked myself there. Episode 38. In the last episode, we took care of Mount Mortar and got like a few encounters here and there. And yeah, in this episode, we're gonna go take on the gym leader Sabrina, the psychic monster. Um, but first, before we do that, I'm gonna go on the Pokemart and like sell some stuff because I said I was gonna do that and I had not done that because like I didn't want to take too much time in the last episode. So we'll do this here right now. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed all the featured videos and stuff. Because in this episode, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna feature. Because I was thinking about it. And, uh... You know, I'm still thinking about it. I almost went with one that I solidified in. But yeah, I'm gonna sell the revives because I don't need that shit. Uh, let's see. Do I have, like, a nugget or two? I don't. That's fine. I thought I was gonna sell more, to be honest. <laughs> so I kind of feel like, eh, yeah, I don't know. But damn, this episode, that's gonna be a bit hard, to be honest. Hyper Potion? Should I use Hyper Potions? Because Sabrina is no joke. Like, whenever I have a Sabrina episode, you know it gets real. Because she... I honestly, if anything, she's probably like my rival in Kanto. Like, my true rival. More than Gary. Like, I, when it comes to Gary, I'm all like, eh, no, I could take him on. Like, I could... Like, even though he has like a mixture of team, like, I'm able to take him down. I, I don't really... I'm not as sweaty as I am when I go face against Sabrina, because she could get scary. She could have, man, she could have in careers if she wanted to, and she pr pretty much did in the anime, so yeah. Let's take a look at our Pokemon before anything else. Well, I mean, I did everything else before him, but yeah. The same team as it was in the last episode, because um, it's the same game session. You know, I'm recording this before Christmas because I just want to get a little bit of a head. But yeah, Epsilon the Machop with Foresight, Vital Throw, Cross Chop, Scary Face. Beta the Draft Rig with Stomp, Agility, Baton Pass, Psy Beam. Dream the Smeargle with Sketch. Alpha the Weedle with Poison Sting and String Shot. Legend the Sentry with Fury Swipe Slam, Rest, and Amnesia. And Shino the Gloom. So I just barely noticed that my team is gonna kind of struggle just a tiny bit in the first couple of trainers, but we shall see. Yo, champ in the making! A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? Um, why? Whatever. Sure, yeah. I expect great things from you. Good luck. By the way, why weren't you at the fourth gym? Like I, I forgot to point it out in the last episode, but like you weren't, you weren't there. So what was that about? Cause I know he likes to go to the casino every time he gets there, so it's a bit kind of weird, you know. Um, this is the ghost trainer, right? Hopefully it is. The power of all those you defeated comes to me. All right, calm down. All right, let's. I don't know. Um, yeah, in the last episode I mentioned about Marvel Snap, and as soon as she says that, that's like what I think of. I'm like, oh man, there should be a card like that. I'm pretty sure there is. Drowsy. Okay, that's not a ghost Pokemon. I was hoping to hit you with something like that. Um, let's just switch you out. Um, which one was you again? I don't remember what you are. Smeargle, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just not. That center it. Which one are you again? Yeah, you're straight up a Weedle. I think I only have no choice but to use center it. But yeah, when I showed off that episode, when I featured it for Pokemon Leaf Green, I chose this episode. I could have chose any others that were really good moments, but I chose this one because it was it was intense. Like Sabrina could have swept me pretty damn easily. Pretty glad that the AI didn't, cause I coulda for sure ended my Nuzlocke. But uh, yeah, oh, for real legend? Oh man, is it cause I didn't take you with me in Mount Mortar? Not just one Fury Swipe? Uh, please. 
please. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, enemy Drowsy's fainted though. Okay, cool. Oh boy. If we have time, I'm considering getting a couple more encounters, because, like, in the last episode, I was a bit concerned that I won't have time to get every single encounter, so we're gonna do something about that. But yeah, Rebecca gets out of Hypno now. We'll see what we could do. We might do three encounters after, like, we face Sabrina. That's if we beat her. But, uh, we shall see. Let's go switch out to back to legend because there's nobody literally nobody else that could take a hit because we got gloom and weedle and like smeagol probably can but like it's gonna sketch his psychic moves and that's gonna be resisted so you know it's kind of counterintuitive but that's fine let's just go with some more fury swipes maybe slam will do more i never know these like power levels i just kind of estimate everything on like how much it is Cause I'm pretty sure five Fury Swipes would be more than a slam, right? That's kind of the logic of magnitude, like a 10 magnitude stronger than an earthquake. Something like that. Like if people were to ask, like, oh, how much power is earthquake? I was like, I don't know, like a hundred or some shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember stuff like that. Um, I know that like explosion is like 200 power. But yeah, let's see. Strong! Far too strong. Okay. Let's check out our Pokemon. Oh, hey! Oh, look at that. We got ourselves... Oh, ho -ho. Yet another ho -ho. Just add that and more and more. And we got Scizor. Tangela. Okay. Entei. That's two legendaries. Caterpie. And a shiny Nidorino! Man, uh, if we don't... Actually, never mind. Scratch what I was gonna say. I was gonna say... I already put you in a thumbnail. I was thinking Blue Needle King, because we put Needle Queen... And, uh, like, Shiny Needle King... Uh, Queen, sorry. I'm pretty sure there's only four trainers in this gym, by the way. The fighting dojo next door was once this city's gym. Um... But yeah, we put Shiny Needle Queen in the thumb though, and I really wanted to put Shiny Needle King. And hypothetically, if it was Shino being the Shiny Needle King, I would have said that like, you know, if we don't have like a different legendary Pokemon to put in the thumbnail, then I'll definitely put Shiny Needle King. But, you know, obviously that didn't happen, so. Sacred Fire! It's quite alright. It's quite alright. I'm honestly a bit concerned with Sabrina, though. Like, I feel like she's gonna kill one of my mons. Like, guaranteed. So I have to be careful, because I, I never leave that match unscathed. Like, she's a challenge, man. She's a huge challenge. So, yeah, I'm a bit concerned. I'm a bit intimidated, but I'm not gonna let... I'm not gonna go easy on her, either. Like... Man, if, depending on the team, on the last trainer, that's gonna decide everything. Cause if I get a shit team, oh man, I'm in trouble, man. Man? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm concerned. Concern, concern, concern. Isn't that right, Jared? If that's even your real name. That's pretty much a catchphrase at this point. Do you have another execute? Just, just, you know, hello? Even though it may or may not lay eggs, it also eats eggs at this point. Like, you're just sunny side up at this point. Just sacred fire all over every single egg. You know, you're all cracked. You just might as well be yolks and just, just basically omelets for ho -Oh. Level 44, though. And Epsilon's trying to learn Fire Blast. Oh, you could absolutely learn Fire Blast. Why wouldn't I teach someone Fire Blast when it's about to lose it within seconds? Like, just give me a few reasons, dude. Like, of course I want Fire Blast. Alright, and Psychic Jared, that was no match. All right, okay, and uh, Fire Blast is gone. It is gone. That's how long it took, you know? If I didn't read it, it would have been much faster. Totodile yet again, like, you know, I saw Totodile in the last episode, and I was surfing on it. Scizor did not change, it's still a Scizor. I'm gonna end up switching to you, though. Raikou, okay. Kingdra, these are pretty good Pokemon. 
I guarantee I won't have this shit like uh, going on against Sabrina, but I forgot to mention that Remoraid and uh, Mantine was in the same team at some point. And, uh, what was something else? There was something else to it in the last episode, but there was, like, a pair that was together, like, two episodes ago, I think. Some shit like that. I don't know how I'm forgetting this. Shino the Porygon 2. And I wasn't talking about Remoraid, you know, being at the final team. I mean the legendaries. That wasn't obvious enough. Let's go switch Scizor to the front, though. I'm not gonna get a good team, is all I'm saying. Um, let's go this way. Top left. Foo foo foo, I see it clearly. I can see into your soul. Alright, calm down. What's with these, like, gold mediums? Just, just trying to harass me, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the gym challenge and you're just mean doors. I don't get it. Calm down. I don't have a bug move, do I? I don't think I get a bug move till like, frickin' 4th gen. That's good enough. Like, look at this. That's fine, though. Let's go with Slash. Ugh, <sighs> man. But yeah, uh, I was talking about the, like, all the Nuzlocks and stuff when it comes to, like, what's gonna be next or whatever. And then, like, I thought to myself that, you know, people are gonna look back on this you know, whether it's binge watching Vet Luck or, or, you know, watching this years later and they already know what's the Nuzlocke's coming up because it's just displayed in my channel. So, you know, for those people, if you're watching this, then, you know, because I usually, I had asked that question before in a different Nuzlocke, so like, what do you think's the next Nuzlocke or whatever, whether it's a different variant or a certain game. Um, so for you guys that will see this in the future, you know, you can still ask or like answer the question on like, at that current point, what would be the next Nuzlocke, you know, obviously, if a person is seeing that and they're being as smart as you would be like, oh, well, <laughs> they asked me the question in Pokemon Prism, the next Nuzlocke will be Crystal Vetlock, <laughs> Then, yeah, the, besides the point, though, like, with with that aside, you could just say what Nuzlocke at that current stage, whatever I'm Nuzlocking at that point, whether it's, like, yellow, chest lock, or whatever the fuck variant of Nuzlocke. From there, you can go, like, oh, I think the next Nuzlocke would be this game, you know? Or you could just answer the question to say, you know, a game that you would like to see, or a kind of special Nuzlocke variant you would like to see as well. Though I read you, I still lost. So yeah, uh, from this day forward, that's kind of what the question also implies as well. So I'll try to make mention of it in the future. But we got one more trainer to go. Um, before the gym leader, that is. We got Sand Slash, Weeping Bell, Geodude, Bell Sprout, Razor when I saw that, and Shelter. And a Shino the Hunter. Okay. So, a tiny bit concerned. Let's go on the other side over. Nya. Wrong way. Back to the... Oh no, I'm on the right side, huh? Yeah. And I'm back here. Fuck that. Let's go over here. Nope. This is the same lady, isn't it? Here? Damn it, I went to every other place but the one I wanted to, damn it. Let's go up here. I just went back to the <laughs> I went back to this. Oh my god, let's go here. Bro, I, I don't wanna go in your fucking room, okay? My lord. No! <laughs> I just go into the room just saying that when Sabrina's in there. Let's go here. There we go, finally, shit. And he remembers the bottom left at the top left of the gym. I know that's confusing. Psychic power is the power of your soul! I think he meant to say that haunting, but it kind of ruined it for him. Whatever, Psychic Franklin. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Kadabra. Got ourselves Kadabra, huh? Let's go with Slash. Take out Kadabra. Booyah. Okay. Easy peasy. 
Oh, and he, that's the only Pokemon he had. Alright, well our final team... Your soul has more power than mine. Our final team is gonna be... Oh, this kind of... Man, I'm nervous now. Please be decent. Please be decent. You guys see it before I do. You guys see it before I do. Oh. Dude, half my team are like psychics. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Just based on looks. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. I got completely swindled. Electa. Thunder Punch, Light Screen, Swift, Screech. Light Screen could be an option if the rest of my team isn't up to par. Jinx. Double Slap, Ice Punch, Mean Look, Body Slam. Okay. Abra, you are not gonna work in this gym. Another Light Screen user, that's good. Synthesis, Body Slam, Light Screen, Safeguard. Need Arena. Okay, um, I can't really use you, but I mean, I guess at least I could use you as the last resort with Bite. That's kind of good. And a Shino the Cloister. You're gonna be pretty good walls. And my team isn't that bad. Don't really have a counter. Like, at all. So I just have to hit it pretty hard, to be honest. So, yeah, that's gonna be... This is gonna be an interesting match. I'll see what I could do. Huh. Yeah, okay. Either way, um, let's go try to find our way to Sabrina and then we'll cut away with the episode and introduce the featured video. Whatever I pick. I think I know what I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna keep it a secret till you guys see it. Oh, that's where it was. What the fuck? I was at that dude's... Ah, that's so annoying. Uh, here? Near? I went back uh, near. Near. I need to find it, damn it. I, this can't be real. Let's go over here. There we go. Bottom left. Alright. I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys here. Enjoy the featured video. G? Oh, I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. Oh, just go. Just go! What the fuck? Are you serious? I have to keep up with that shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm literally memorizing all of this now. Yet I still fail. Okay, except for that part. I keep getting that part mixed up with something else. That's why I keep dying to that shit. Like why? That is so stupid. I do it all the time. I need her to remind myself or else I won't do it. Uh, no, bruh. Oh, wait. I, uh, uh, uh. No. Come on. There's so much, man. Like, why? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I never do that. When the, Every time I do jump a lot, it doesn't do it. And I, I, it counted, I guess. Oh my god! Oh, snap! Yaz! In the face! Oh, god! What? Ever, dude. What? Ever? Oh, gee. Okay, 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 okay. I can't possibly mess this up now. Not today. Not today, sir. Not today. Not today. Not today, sir. Not today. Not ever again. God damn it! Ah! I was so close. How big is this level, dude? Oh. Pain. Just pain. That, that's what I'm feeling right now. It's pain. 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 That's what I'm feeling. It's the pain. That's what I'm feeling today. Oh! <gasps> what? What? No! 
Oh! Oh, oh god, I almost messed that up. Oh, 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 I'm really flustered. I really shouldn't be. I got another life. I should calm down, but I'm not. I don't know why I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need, I need calm down. That makes no sense, but okay, I need to calm down because I'm winning this shit. I'm gonna win this shit, 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 shit. No, 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 oh god. No, 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 dude. No! Oh! Okay, I'm back. And it didn't take me surprisingly long to get to her this time, because I, I kind of think I knew what I was doing at the same time, I really. I was just, like, trying to get to the old lady's room, and then I ended up at the, the top right boys' corner room. I don't know why I call it that, but after that, I was, I was like, yeah, I know where to go now. But here we are. Um, I was still trying to think of what to do. I think I am gonna use the Lecta bus to begin with. Uh, light screen from there, and Alakazam is the real problem. We'll try to see what we could do to deal with the uh, with him. So, yeah, let's do this. Wish me luck. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Here we go. Scar versus Gym Leader Sabrina. Oh man, let's get this started. Three months! I thought it was four months before. Okay. I know that in like yellow is just Abracadabra and Alakazam. I do like the other name of like the Japanese name of it being Hocus Pocus Alakazam. Oh, you're stronger than Beta. Okay. Let's go with Light Screen. And I think I have to switch out after this. I'm faster than Espeon. What? You missed Sand Attack. What? Um, Swift is physical, but I, I think it's more worth switching out. So let me think, right? So this is... A dream is Abra. You're Jinx. You're Meganium. Uh, well, this one's Meganium. Uh, Legend is Nidorina, and you're Cloyster. So I want to go to... I want to go to Meganium. I think I need to save Meganium's power... No, but I just realized Jinx is Epsilon, level 44. It might just have to be you, then. Maybe the smarter place to go is Shino, just to stall, like... Because I, I really want to preserve Meganium's HP. Because I think Meganium's my true answer to, to fight Alakazam. Stop sand attacking, my god. I don't know why Janine and Sabrina are just missing these. This is kind of confusing to me. Let's just supersonic. Like, I'm playing this differently. I don't have an advantage. This is like the first time that I'm kind of neutral, except with the, you know, besides the level advantage. Okay, and it hurt itself. So I could stall this thing at least. Spike cannon. Please hit five times. That did pretty decent damage. I thought I was gonna do worse. Oh! Oh, a crit! Oh, if only there was the yellow mechanics. I always say yellow. It's red, blue, and yellow is what I mean to say. If it was those mechanics, the rest of those would be all of it. Oh my god! I'm so, I'm so sorry. You didn't predict that shit, Sabrina. Oh god. Man. If only you got like... <laughs> you bought something at the Pokemon to counter that. Are you sure she's psychic? I don't know, man. I'm just saying. Mr. Mime, uh... Let's stay in? No, uh, I wanna... Level you up a tiny bit more. I said Mr. Mime, right? I mean, Jinx is kind of the counterpart. That'd be kind of cool to see. Mr. Mime versus Jinx. I don't know why I'm putting my hand like if I'm a... 
Hollywood directors like, oh, here's the new title of the movie. Yeah, Jinx versus Mr. Mime. No, no one gives a shit. Uh, are especially defensive, so I think Body Slam's probably best. So we'll do a couple of hits. But you're also level 46. Is that like a Zam level 50 then? Is that what it is? Maybe I got nothing to worry about. Uh, the light screen wore off, but it should be fine. If it gets down too much, then uh, I'm gonna end up switching it out. Dude, I'm getting lucky with these crits. Psychic. Yeah, I got this in the bag. Okay. I, I, I thought I was gonna have a much worse team and a much worse time taking care of this. I'm glad I'm not. I was so concerned battling her. Like, ever since I landed in Kanto, like, beginning the after game, I was like, Sabrina. It's gonna be the one. Alakazam, though. Okay, I'll stay in only to switch out. Hopefully, my game doesn't get hurt too much. I wonder if you have a stat raising move. Like, there's no calm mine in this gen, but. Like, if you use, uh. uh Shit, I don't even know, um... What, what moves do you even learn from this point? Oh, Reflect. Oh crap, I put a... Shit, I didn't mean to go to Nier Arena. Oh god. I went to the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> That's so weird, like I... When I was talking about Meganium, I was on Nier Arena, I was like, Oh, I don't mean you, though. That's... That's so weird. Shoot, now you have a Reflect and you got a free hit off me. What the hell was I... What? Oh my god, this crit. Lucky bastard. Okay, at least you got some luck in return. Okay, ref uh, light screen's up. Okay. That did pretty good. That would have hit so hard if if that had happened. I feel like I'm wasting so much. Just use one hyper potion. I mean, that's why I bought them. I was just for just for maintaining a good balance. A good balance. What the hell am I talking about? I mean, just, just so I could... Because if I try to do it again, Alex Zamboli needs two more hits. That looked like it did worse. Alright, level 48 though. I thought it was level 50. So we're like nine levels over leveled. It's a third... Oh, I mean, it's Reflect. Never mind. Okay, I understand now. I forgot that there was a Reflect up. Because, yeah, I was going to say, Alexam's defense, he took that pretty well for being, like, me being nine levels over. Like, Alexam does is not that defensive. But, yeah, that's it for Gym Leader Sabrina. Man, that was... That was... Much smoother than I thought it'd be. Leader Sabrina was defeated, though. Your power. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it is impossible to fully predict what the future holds. Well, you didn't fully predict, because you would have countered me so hard. Like, I feel like what I did was, like, if you saw the future, that could have been easily countered after countered. Okay, you win. Earned yourself. You earned yourself, Marsh Badge. Okay. And we received the Marsh Badge. And yeah. Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. Although I fail to accurately predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Oh, thank you. Man, oh, you gonna make me blush. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our Pokemon. And yeah, let's take a look at this. Nidorino. Lapras. Voltorb. I like how when he says Voltorb, you could kind of hear like Voltorb, and it's kind of cool. Anyway, do that voice impression right, but we got Tyranitar. You would have been real nice in the last match. And Shiny Mr. Mime. Um, so yeah, um, I also realized when I pointed out that like, oh, this would have been helpful in the one gym or whatever. Or no, no, no. The, what, the thing it was was like me catching ho -Oh, I think, right? Or some, something like that. Like, I kept saying, oh, this would have been nice, this would have been nice. Man, every single Pokemon that I had pointed out was weak to Ho-Oh, so I'm like, what the hell is, like, talking about? I'm all hyping up Weeping Bell. I'm like, see, this, this one right here, 
You should have been in. Nah, nah, nah. Just ignore what I said when I said that. That was another fantastic battle. Thank you. And yeah, two more gym badges to go. Did I look at my team? I don't remember. Yeah, I did look at my team. I don't know how I keep forgetting that that had happened. I don't even remember if I have a flying on. And man, editing me is gonna get pissed off that I did that just, just to check. Uh, but that's fine. So, at the moment, let's go catch some Pokemon so I could get just a tiny bit less work for the future. By less work, I mean, like, not take up as much time for the other episodes, like, if I want to catch some Pokemon. So let's just do that here and now, catch ourselves three encounters, and then end the episode. Starting with Route 5, because we pretty much took care of all the, pretty much the west area. Um, Snubble. Um, alright, and let's go throw a great ball at you. I'm gonna pull up the military alphabet, hopefully it's still on my phone. It is. We are in the letter R section. Doesn't really fit Snubble, but you know, whatever. And it didn't say caught. Okay, sweet. That's sweet. That's more than sweet. People are gonna look at this episode, man. Man, it's gonna have an intense battle if this episode's 45 minutes. I don't know, man. Plus, there was more trainers before with Sabrina and all that. Two, three... Ah, oh, bruh, Snubble, for the love of God, ma'am, stay caught. The, all the charms in the world won't help me hit it to, to not die. <laughs> so, um, it doesn't matter how much it, it does that. Let me look at these other letters right here. It's kind of, like the letters that they have here, like the names of it, a little bit. Anyway, Snubble though, with the letter R, is the name Romeo. So yeah, I have a friend named Romeo. Well, I mean, username, but yeah, I mean, that's what I call him by. Romeo. And the Bill PC, it's apparently a military code, I never knew about that. But then, to be fair, I didn't know Papa was a military code name. Really weird. <laughs> really weird. We got ourselves Gloom. Quillfish. Golduck. Dratini. Magikarp. And a shiny Chuckle. Shiny Chuckle. I feel like I said Chuckle. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into any other Pokemon. Okay, good. Um, the next encounter would be Isis really now. Um, and that would be, like, the only other place we haven't got was Mount Moon in the west area. And that's excluding the southwest area, because there's all that water and stuff. Crap, I need cut! Oh, please tell me I got a cut, Mon. Please tell me I got a cut, Mon, because I really don't want to just run in and out till I get a cut, Mon. Oh, thank god. Gloom. You. You, Gloom. Thank you. So much for not taking up so much time. Sleep powder, that's good. Let's take away moonlight because it's fucking morning, okay? Yeah, y'all, cut. I guess I just does no cut. I just, it didn't, I don't know. Something about that's weird to me though, but I'm just gonna excuse it to be like, eh, it's a grass mon. Like, that's all the reason it needs. I battled you, right? Okay, hopefully, I might be in another battle. Oh, he turns. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just turn away. Look, there's a squirrel. Oh. I swear he looked at me, but I don't know. All right, our encounter for this grass, though. And there's no loitering section or littering or... It probably was littering. I don't know why I said loitering. Level 15 Firo. That's a cheating Firo, because I swear it was like level 21 or 20 that it evolves. Um, sleep powder. Yay! <laughs> that would have been nice. Dude, this would have been so good against ho if you use sleep powder and, like, hypnosis and stun sported. Would have been so good with ho. Shut up, Pascar. Now, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man, alright? Piss me off. Ultra Ball for these cheating mons. Let's pull up the military alphabet again, aka turning on my phone. The letter S. Come on, Firo, what the heck? And it woke up, 
and it picked me? The disrespect. The absolute disrespect. You stay asleep. Damn it. You stay asleep. How dare you? You know, I was thinking that like a bunch of like the the Greek alphabet and like um the military codes. It would be cool to name some of these Pokemon like in a Nuzlocke these. Like I'm I don't think I'm gonna name a Pokemon Papa unless it's kind of a like a joke or something, like if it was a Ursa Ring or something like that, but um but, you know, some of these other names, like November, that'd be a pretty good name for Lugia. Even though I kind of, more than half of the time, call it Neogenesis. And I think that's a better name. And, uh, Snorlax, I would be happy to call it Bravo, because that was a really fitting nickname for him. But, yeah, here we go. We caught Firo. And for Firo, I will call you, for the after the letter S encode... It is Sierra. I'm sure everybody knows about that, you know. Sierra. It's actually another friend of mine's name. So it's kind of weird that military codes know about this. But it's not a username though, it's a real life person's name. You know, because I wouldn't be surprised if there was a username named Sierra. That, you know, their name isn't Sierra in real life. Anyway, we got ourselves Muck the Beta. Epsilon Polyworld. Slugma the Dream, Remoray the Alpha. I swear, like, Remoray and Slugma were together in a team before, or am I crazy? I swear that that happened last episode. Bulbasaur, and a shiny Hitmonlee. Oh, that would have been nice in the last episode, because, like, that would have been cool thumbnail to have a Hitmonchan and a shiny Hitmonlee. That would have been cool. I didn't do that, though. That's fine. Okay, let's go work eastward. Okay. <laughs> I probably already battled them or dodged them or something, but... I know I battled you, right? Oh, I just remembered, because I, I did this before, like... The whole reason I was doing that on that one episode and next to Lavender Town... Did I battle you? She looks like she's on crack. That route left of Lavender. Oh, I'm also, I, I caught a Pokemon this route before. Wait, is this the same route? Oh shit, don't tell me. Oh, what am I doing? Why, why am I on the radio? Wait, actually? Don't tell me it's the same route. Oh, I caught a cheating encounter. In red, blue, and yellow, there were separated routes. Oh, man. Route 10. Was it really? Oh, I might look at the Pokemon Center. Shit. Wait, is it actually? Hang on. I think if I go, yeah, Route 10. There's Route 9. Oh, I might have caught the encounter. Oh, that was a cheating mon. Okay, let's sort this out right quick. If it is, I'll delete it and I'll call something else Sierra. Man! In red, blue, and yellow, it was something else. I don't think... I don't think it's here, though. Does it... I don't even remember. I don't even remember if, uh... If, uh, whatchamacallit... Which one was it? It was like a Golding or Sea King or something? That wasn't Papa, that was something else. I need a checkbox one. Let's change it to the crew. It's gotta be like, oh no, you have to, uh, you have to deposit and then you can withdraw. I just wanna look at my Pokemon, okay? That's all I wanna do. Which one was it? Boris? Okay, I'm gonna have to... It doesn't say the route. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a cheating mom, though. Damn it! Ah, oh, that sucks. Why do I... What? 
Why do I have the crew three? What the fuck? Okay, I'm confused. What? I've been doing that the whole time? What? Maybe because I was on the crew and I made the crew two, but then like when I switched out the crew one, I... That's weird. <laughs> oh, uh, that's gonna bother me a bit. Okay, I'm sorry Sierra, I have to delete you. You're cheating Firo anyway. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get another Sierra. Okay, since that's the cheating encounter, then I got two more encounters for this episode to catch. So let's go inside here and get ourselves an encounter. I'm not gonna explore the rock tunnel, I'm just like, just going about it, trying to get something good. And by something good, I mean something that's gonna end up getting randomized anyway, so it doesn't matter whether it's good. Catching a Q-Bone. <clears throat> and let's do it. And man, I had a gloom and everything too, man. And it would have been so much easier if I flown to Lavender Town and then just move up to, you know, the cave and all that. Man. Oh, Cubone, you could have made it easier for me. Like, you could have and you... What? <laughs> Why you leave? Why you leave? Oh, that's depressing. We got ourselves horsey though. Fralligator. Ghastly. Oddish. I didn't even know Cubone could leave, man. Like the hell? Dragon Knight, thank god I could fly out here. Shino the Nine Tails. Okay, I always like to see uh, Shino the Nine Tails. Alright, let's go fly out of here. Oh my god. Let's go fly out of here. Should I do it in order or should I just... Yeah, I could kind of do it in order since I did everything else in order. Cannot believe I ruined that encounter. I'll look back in the footage and then see, because I'm pretty sure I went in the water and that counts as my right Route 9 encounter. Shit, Gina! What? Scott! It's Gina and Marty! Hey, Mama, is it tough? I train every day with Bobatar! But you know... I still haven't got Abra! He's <laughs> still running away from me! Oh, I know, girl, I know the feels. The like, Q1 just ran away. Like, I didn't even know Pokemon could do that. I mean, I do, but I don't know if Q1 could do that. It's getting past frustrating! Oh, man! If they teleport one more goddamn time! Wow! Oh. I'll kill somebody the next person I call! Bye, let's chat again. Alright, calm down, Gina, shit. Like, you only call me. Like, what the fuck? So rude. Alright, let's fly out of here. Let's go to, uh, yeah, in order, I guess, Vermilion City. And I could get an encounter in Vermilion City itself, but let's go up right quick just to get this encounter. I got two more to go still because since he ran off, I didn't catch him. So, already well, this episode's extended, I guess. So, whoever it may be. Whoever it may be, it's fine. Snubble. I'm getting a lot of snubbles. I didn't see this much snubbles when I played Red, Blue, and Yellow, man. Like, where's this shit coming from? Okay, at least you fit the Sierra. Like, that's that's fitting, right? Oh, uh, shit. I clicked on Alt by accident. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's what that pause was. Um, let's go this way. Great ball. Or I think I clicked on alt. I don't know. I just saw a file over the emulator highlighted. That was weird. One, two, three. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, come on, Snowball. Why are these Pokemon sh kicking out on three, man? You're like John Cena, dude. Or ma'am. <laughs> like, just, l just allow it. Just allow it. Thank you. Was that so hard? You're officially Sierra. Aren't you happy now? You have a, a great name to fit everything. You know, a mountain's uh, named after you. Like, you know, so good. And you're after, you're named after Scar Knight's friend. So that's everything worthwhile. So Sierra, there we go. We got ourselves a Sierra. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at the Pokemon now. <clears throat> this episode was a lot different than I thought. I wasn't considering 
using uh, or, or catching Pokemon, let alone going this far off of the Hoot Hoot. At least I could fly again, but not that it matters. Legend the Eevee and Shine of the Mug. Do I have Shine of the Mug and Mug, or was I seeing things? No, that was last match, huh? I need to teach you. I need to teach you Surf. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking too soon. Okay. That was rather weird. Alright. Let's go surf then. And, um, I guess after that, it's like a last encounter. Which, uh, I don't know. Uh, like, it, all I have to do really is just, like, probably old rod and that'd be good. I guess. So maybe I don't have to teach a surf. That's fine. I already committed, though. Alright, let's go for Million City. I'm almost tempted to do one more route because it's just like literally that. And yeah, I don't know. Like if I'm doing stuff in order. And I already got my Diglett's Cave encounter. So our encounter for for Million City is a tentacle. So surprise to no one. So maybe I'll do it. Uh, X oh shit, level 35. Oh hang on. I might need a switch out. You're Mantine, right? Or Mantine. I usually call it Mantine. Uh... Let's go to Mantine, because Beta could be not enough to take on a tentacle. Just, it's gonna use, like, Bubble Beam or something, and that's gonna hit, like, almost half, and I don't want that. Let's use Wing Attack. You should live at least one, right? Like, you have special defense and all that. I don't know about physical defense. That's perfect. All right, cool. Let's put up this thing again. The letter T. You know, codename kids next door wanted to use the number T for, like, number two's brother. Uh, Ultra Ball. I want to be number T. It's like, T's not a number, stupid. I want to be number T. But either way, Tentacool. It's gotta be Tango, which is a common military one that people know about. I don't know where they came up with Tango, but I do like it. It's, it's kinda cool, like when they're like Sierra, Tango, Alpha, Hotel, shit like that. It's cool. I don't know, I like it. Uh, let's see. Cool fish. Aerodactyl. Okay. I'm a knight. Flaffy. Not two, which can't fly, but you know, whatever. Shine of the Flareon. Okay. Let's uh, do one more. This is what I was talking about in that third gym episode. No, bro, come back here. I like it when you block me. Yeah, you better run. Punk ass. You did this before, man. I know you do it on purpose, dog. Not cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, does this count as an encounter? If I go far enough? Like, would it be like... SSN or something? Let's test the waters. Quite literally. Quite literally. It seems to be the same place. Let's check the Poke Gear. Yeah, it still says Vermilion City, so no extra encounter, because I know that, like, I didn't mean to go there. The fast ship will sail on Wednesday. I don't even know what today is, actually. Hang on. I, I don't... I'm sorry, Scar Knight's Monday. Okay, cool. That's that's pretty good. Um, Actually, shit. Um, How am I going to go about this? I'm just trying to think in the future, like, what could I do? Huh. That's fine, though trying to think because I, I don't quite remember certain things uh, I'll bring it up in the finale I don't want to keep you guys going like well I don't know what the fuck you're talking about so I checked my Pokemon right I already forgotten if I did eradicates the first encounter though oh yeah I did yeah <laughs> I don't remember cool fish um, let's go with Ultra Ball. I like the number 50 on the Great Ball, so I'll just waste Ultra Balls first. And we are in letter U. 
for you and me. Our friends were friends who do stuff together, you is for you and me. And it's for getting this fucking ball, and it's not even a water and that whole thing at all. And it's for anywhere and anytime I walk down here in the big blue sea. Aw, oh, come on, Medicaid. That physical fire that burns through the, the... I don't even know what Plankton says. I hope you guys... I, I'm sure most people just know about Spongebob and his memes and all that stuff, so I assume that you guys seen that episode. One of my favorites, I don't know, I, I never really thought about what's the favorite Spongebob episode. You is for uranium! Bomb! And it's for no survivors! Predicate, stay the ball. You're being really stubborn right now. You just wasted five Ultra Balls. Do you know how expensive it is? Do you understand about inflation, man? Apparently you don't, Radicate. You're being rude. I bought this great ball like yesterday. Well, I mean, canon-wise. You know, every episode's a different day. Shit, it was so close to... Ah, Radicate. I didn't introduce the episode, right? I think I did. Stay in the ball. You're the last encounter. Don't make this difficult. Like, I, I'm sure that's gonna get caught soon. There's no way it's gonna struggle kill itself, right? Right? Ah. Uh, do I have a Pokemon that I could put this thing to sleep? I think I had a Voodoo, right? Something like that? I was that before again. I keep getting them confused. Um, nope. Okay. Doesn't seem like I do. Unless I just completely overlooked it. Alright. Come on, Radicate, please. I'll, I'll make this on, on the spot for you. F this for, um... <laughs> Hang on, let me actually use a better idea. F this for Foxtrot. That, uh... Shit, I don't know shit about trying foxes. This is terrible. Radicate, I'm sorry. I, I, I promise you a song and I'm failing. F this for Foxtrot frolicking in the forest. U is for your name is gonna be sad in a second. N is for November. Which is not the month that we're on. This is December. You know, since... Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, I just need to stop. I just need to stop. Predicate, please. I'm cringing over here. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I mean, we're, we're still on the road to finishing the series. January 1st is the finale. Look forward to it. Oh, well, because, like, um, it, it can't be this long for you to stay in the bar, goddammit. So that's why I'm not like, oh, we're in the month of December and I shouldn't break the fourth fall. You guys know. You guys are aware. Like, I've been trying to post common vet log videos. One, two, three, and he's gone. Finally, eradicate. My lord. I probably fast forwarded that because that took a bit. Anyway, you, you know, F is for Fox Tribe, frolicking in the forest. U is for the name that's gonna happen. N is for November Dog. But yeah, U is for Uniform. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the letter U name. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, like, you know, I would do something, like, not related to anything else. But in the next episode, I think we're going to begin with finale part one. Of course, I like doing three-part finales. So, since the next gym is the seventh gym, and then part two will be the eighth gym... Part 3, you know, for those of you that played this game before, knows exactly what Part 3 is going to be. And we'll try to see if we can get there. Oh, did I even look at my Pokemon? Shoot. But yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be the parts. I've already said it on the finales. And, I mean, I'm kind of glad I'm doing it this way, because it was kind of hurting my OCD. I'm like, I gotta have something in between the gyms, but I couldn't come up with anything. But uh, this is what I came up with. So that's why I was kind of getting encounters as much as I can. Oh, Mewtwo, hey. So yeah, Shine of the Tyrogue. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen in the next episode. I'm gonna go head over there to Cinnabar Island to see what's going on. And on the way, I'll get encounters. And I'll try to get encounters as much as possible because for the seventh gym, believe it or not, because normally, Blaine does have trainers um, but in this case it's just him so who's gonna be the trainer before Blaine you shall see but I've been saving for it but yeah white tigers and dragons to you you've been scored by the night I'm out <laughs>